and welcome back to another video. In today's video, what we're doing is customizing a pair of black vans. This was my first attempt. As you can see, it didn't come out very well using the paintbrush and the fabric paint that I bought at Hobby Lobby. So I am retooling and taking a different approach. What I'm doing is using masking tape to tape off the areas that I want to remain black. You have to tape it on there very well or else the paint will seep under the edges and you won't have crisp lines. Next, I've done the same thing with the masking tape on the soles of the shoes. It was sort of a meticulous process, a very tight all around the edges. I actually used a pen to sort of help press it in around those areas where the rubber meets the canvas. It is tearing off a piece that I have just cut out and it has to be done very carefully. The tape is on top of more tape. Uh, that way I can cut it out. I can, I can lay a piece of tape down, cut it out, then I can pull it off and it still has its sticky tag and that way you know it's going to stick well to the shoes. And just careful placement. Go ahead and get that on. What I'm doing here is cutting out the next piece and I'll just show you the process as far as cutting out a section. And you can see it takes a pretty steady hand. You just got to sort of follow along. First I draw it on there and then I cut it out just following the lines. Another thing about doing this, if you'll notice uh, how much time it sort of takes, I have to be careful not to press too hard because if you do, you will cut through all the layers of the tape, including the one underneath it. And then whenever you go to peel it off, you're going to pull two layers off. I'm going to just paint over what I painted earlier with the brush and I think it'll be fine. So what I'm doing here is actually repairing a torn edge and I'm going to fix this heart. I was not happy with the exact shape of it. So I'm doing a risky move here and performing a slicing of the tape while it's connected to the shoe. Tricky because obviously you don't want to cut through the canvas of the shoe. Nice, it came out pretty good. And we have all the blue taped. So basically everything that is taped is going to remain black and everything that is black that you see will be painted a pink sparkly unicorn color. I have covered over the larger areas with newspaper. I had to actually change my approach. I had to get some tape and go into that area instead of newspaper. The newspaper wasn't working. So what I did was I put some tape in there and I'm going to go in and I'm going to cut the tape off to expose the areas that I want to paint. So there they are, all taped up and ready to be painted. This is the paint that I'll be using, the Unicorn Pink Iridescent Spray Paint. As you can see, I start with very light coats, and basically that's going to be the process, one small coat after another. And this was the process in between each coat. The hair dryer set on high heat and low speed tried to wait for them and it probably would have taken an hour or maybe two for them to dry. So with this right here, it cut them down to maybe five or 10 minutes. And here they are probably seven or 10 coats later. I can't remember, but it took way more than I thought. And then I actually ended up using an entire can per shoe. Time for the big reveal. All this work comes down to this moment. There it is with the back section off. Came out pretty much flawless and now we'll be removing the rest the most satisfying portion which will be the stripes oh, across the foot i'm going to start with this corner and we're going to remove from this area carefully and then across the foot this doesn't come off perfectly what will happen is the paint will be pulled off and the edges will not be crisp and it's going to look terrible Part of what makes removing the tape difficult is the fact that number one, paint will stick to the tape and sometimes will be removed, messing up your lines. And number two, you need to do it while the paint is still wet. That decreases the chances of that happening. So here we go, pulling off the next piece. Very nice, very nice. And here they are all completed, cleaned up and ready to go. As you can see, the paint came out very nice. It's very thick. Uh, it should stay on there for a good long while. 
I even used a little bit of the paint left over and did a custom heart on the box. Well, hope you liked this video, and if you did, make sure you subscribe and drop a comment and let me know if you would like to see more of these videos in the future, and I'll do my best to get them out for you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for tuning in for another video, and until my next one, you guys be good. Now get on out there and do what you do. What you do.